Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a, another video. I'm very glad that you are here. Today's topic is you are being guided. Pay attention to the signs. You're being guided every step of the day in every single way. It's just a matter of if you are paying attention to the signs and what the universe, what your guides, what the angels, what the archangels, what the ascended masters are saying to you or showing you or how they're guiding you. And so we'll talk about some of the ways in which spirit communicates because it's not a loud billboard that says you should go here and do this until you begin to develop your sensitivity, your ability to discern and understand and read the signs, then they become very apparent. They become very obvious. So you are being guided every step of the way in every single way, every single day. You're being guided towards a much greater path, a much happier, more fulfilling life, a much more abundant and fulfilling financial and professional life better, uh, more loving, open, communicative, receptive, kind, adventurous, fun relationships, all of this stuff, you are being guided, you are being shown the way. And there's different ways that the universe is showing you. First, actually didn't write this one down, but the first thing that comes to my mind, you may be shown the way and the universe may be communicating to you by showing you contrast. So contrast is just that, right? You know when you flip uh, contrast on your phone or your computer screen or whatever it is, contrast is the shades of light and dark, right? So it's showing you the contrast, the difference between the light and the dark uh, shades. That's how the universe may be communicating with you. So what is it? what do I mean by this? Well, you may be shown and being communicated to and with by the universe and be pointed in the direction of what you do want by currently experiencing what you don't want. So that could be the first way the universe is communicating with you. If you have a really crappy life situation and circumstances, uh, you're broke, your living situation's crappy, you don't have a job you want, your partner treats you like crap, you're in a relationship of what you don't want, all of that stuff to experience what you don't want is to show you and communicate with you what you do want. Your soul is saying, hey, this is really crappy. Do you like where you're at? The answer is no. Well, pretty simple. All you got to do is redirect your life into what you do want. And you may say, well, it's not that simple. Well, I'll disagree. I'll agree to disagree. It is that simple. Your limiting beliefs or your attachment to whatever the circumstances are, whatever you're getting out of that, the payoff, that is your attachment and that is what's making it so difficult. It's very simple. All it is is if you're experiencing what you don't want, start moving into the direction of what you do want. So if it's a relationship you don't want, pretty simple, cut this person off. Well, Pierce, it's not that simple. I'm married and I have kids with them. Okay, you do have some things that you've got to sort out, but pretty simple, this is what you don't want. So you're, um, you've got to look at your choices. You either tolerate it you either work on communicating with that person or the relationship and uh, working on bettering that relationship into what you do want, or you detach and leave that person, albeit there's a lot more nuts and bolts that will have to be sorted out if kids are involved, all those things. But nonetheless, the message remains the same. If you're experiencing what you don't want, all that means is that you start moving into the direction of what you do want. Same thing with the job. Um, you are being mistreated, your boss is treating you poorly, you're being passed up for promotions, you're not being paid enough, et cetera, et cetera, whatever the circumstances, great. You're being ex shown exactly what you don't want so that you know what you do want. Well, I'm not getting paid enough. Well, now you know what you do wanna go after that will pay you what you want. I don't enjoy my work. Well, now you know what not to do, so going towards what you do wanna do. I know, it's crazy how common, like how simple in terms um, it is when I put it like this, but this is the way the universe is communicating with you in one way, contrast. So by experiencing what you don't want, it's showing you exactly what you do want. So everything that you don't want, do the complete opposite. You'll have what you do want. Contrast, communication. The universe is communicating with you in that way. 
The universe doesn't speak loudly. It communicates in signs, symbols, and synchronicities. Until you learn to listen, you learn, you develop a greater sense of inner peace and solitude and silence, then the signs, the synchronicities, uh, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, um, these six psychic senses that we all have, they begin to develop and become more clear. Then the voices do become louder and what used to be a whisper, a whisper is now a clear and direct voice in which much like I'm speaking to you with. And that's been my experience anyways. But the other way that the universe communicates with you is by numbers, song lyrics, synchronicities, it can be random examples. So I'll give you an example of a synchronicity uh, that happened to me yesterday and just this morning. Um, I mentioned it a few times on here. I moved out and I'm in the desert right now and I don't like it. I've been a beach boy my whole life. I'm from Southern California. It's where I grew up. It's where I went to college where I've lived my entire life with the exception of the past few months. And I moved out here with very specific intention um, really to close some karmic loops reconnect with my dad, my family, uh, close some karmic family cycles and traumas in my life and reconnect in these things, uh, as well as do some things financially and professionally to set myself up in a way. So it was all very intentional. Nonetheless, I moved out here and I, with those goals and all of that is going according to plan, but it's very apparent to me, this is not the place for me. I do not want to be here. I do not enjoy it. I do not like it. Um, I am open to the possibility that there's a lot more here for me to explore as time goes on. However, my gut instinct, my, what I know in my heart to be true is that I do not want to be here for any longer than I have to. Uh, so I am making a plan and very clear on my vision about how I want things to move around more or less being flexible and open to things changing, of course, and adaptable, but knowing that I want to move back. So the synchronicity I want to talk about as I was like, man, am I supposed to be out here? And I really, I mean, I much rather would be in San Diego by the beach where I was just talking to my friend at 72 right now and I could be out with my toes in the sand with my shirt off, hanging out with my dog. Sounds a lot better than 103 degree heat in the desert sitting in my car, right? I'd rather be doing this video on the beach with you guys, um, being in a much higher vibration little place and something that is more comfortable and enjoyable for me, right? Um, so, I was sitting here thinking about it last night, you know, recently, and I'm like, okay, well, what's the game plan? Am I supposed to be out here? You know, I'll leave it up to spirit to how long or quote unquote what it looks like as far as uh, when I'm, or how long I'm supposed to be out here, how long that looks. Now, however, last night at work, uh, on two separate occasions, um, I think I mentioned I work at a really, really nice uh, high-end restaurant out here. And um, I was just talking to uh, one of the tables out there and all these guys were from San Diego. What do you know? And they were talking about the beach, talking about the weather right now. And, and I was like, God, you know, gosh dang, man, I am home, homesick, I miss San Diego. So synchronicity number one, I'm sitting here wondering if I'm supposed to be out here and I'm just experiencing resistance towards being here and there are things that I'm overcome, which I'm sure there are. Uh, but of course, randomly this table um, they're from San Diego. And then I'm sitting here and as I go into the coffee shop this morning and I write down some thoughts and I begin to explore, you know, um, game plan some things when I'm out here, I look up and this guy is sitting across from me and he's like open bodied, kind of sitting towards me like this. And, um, you know, I, right when I look up, I connect my eyes with him. He's looking at me and he's wearing a San Diego Padres shirt, this white, uh, the white San Diego Padres one that's like all neon, it says San Diego. And I'm like, I connect eyes with him, give him a little head nod, you know, he look, you know looks at me, give me, gives me a head nod, and I'm like, dude, there we go. Sitting here writing about San Diego, game planning about what I'm supposed to do while I'm out here, uh, you know, when I would like to go back, all these things, and I look up. So sure, these things could be coincidences, but I don't know, I mean, I'm in a place where people literally travel from all over the world to be at all times of the year. Um, and I just happen to be talking to these dudes that are from San Diego and then I come here and then uh, out of all sports teams, it could have been a Seattle Mariners, it could have been a Florida Marlins, it could have been a Texas Rangers shirt. No, it was a San Diego one. Could have been an LA Dodgers one. I mean, I would have taken that sense too, but anyways. So it's communication. 
synchronicities, it's signs, it's symbols. Um, and then the funny thing is right after I saw that guy and I nodded at him, this gigantic U-Haul truck drives right by him, right behind him. You know, through I see it through the window and I'm like, okay, San Diego, U-Haul, and I'm like, I know guys, I know. I'm not gonna be out here forever. At some point I'll move back home in a U-Haul to San Diego. So little things like that. Sure, it could be coincidence, but I'm also very tapped in. I'm very centered, I'm present, I'm aware, and I'm paying attention and I make the connections. So the universe is always speaking to you. It's a matter of if you're paying attention to the signs, the synchronicities, the symbols, the numbers, the song lyrics, the letters, the book recommendations, the podcast title, the random video like mine popping up on your page. I can't tell you, and for being a small channel, how many times I've seen comments come up on my videos that go, Oh my God, the timing of this is crazy. It's so nuts that your video popped up on my chant or uh, popped up on my for you page. I don't even know who you are, and your video came up, and it's the perfect timing for exactly what I'm going through. Or oh my gosh, this message is exactly what I needed to hear today. Synchronicity, signs. So the universe is always speaking to you. You're always being guided. The question is, are you paying attention? Are you making the connections? Because spirit is always trying to talk to you, and you know that already. That's why you're here. Another way you wanna pay attention to is dreams. You may have dreams all of a sudden and be wondering about trying to find your purpose or what your job is. And over the next four weeks, you have six dreams about uh, dolphins and boats and tropical, uh, you know, I don't know, tropical um, destinations in Hawaii and the Caribbean. And then all of a sudden, uh, you get this divine inspiration to start looking up what it means to be like a whale watching guide in Costa Rica or, or something like that. Or you get an opportunity and your friend says, hey, I'm traveling out to X, Y, and Z. Do you want to come with me? I'm going to take a, a snorkeling or scuba diving class and you fall in love with that. So it's like connections like that, like the universe is trying to point you in the directions. You just have to be paying attention to the signs, to the symbols, to the synchronicities. Uh, so it might be dreams. You might be getting visions, um, insights, and connections. Uh, you may have a um, wondering what you should be doing, and you're like always having this dream of being uh, an esthetician and doing hair and nails for women. And then um, you know you try something new with your makeup, and this woman comes up to you randomly and coffee and says, I just want to let you know, I love your hair and your makeup. Do you do it yourself? Oh my God, would you be willing to teach me or about X, Y, and Z? And then all of a sudden you get on your Instagram feed or something, or you see some girl post about how she just started her YouTube channel and it's a beauty esthetician YouTube channel. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, these are connections that you've got to pay attention to because you're being pointed into the direction you're supposed to be going or not going by experiencing contrast gut feelings, your body. You ever been in an environment or around a person and you just know, like, you know, how you know, uh, like when the hair in your arm stands up or the hair on the back of your neck stands up or something like that happens. And then all of a sudden something happens that confirms that and go, dang, dude, I knew it. I could feel it on my body, in my body that I wasn't supposed to be there. And then I left five minutes early and then a fight broke out five minutes later or something like that. Your body is talking to you. Your body is such a divine, pure instrument. And if you take care of it and you're cleared out and you're not bogged down by a bunch of drugs and alcohol and like weed and cigarettes and junk food and salt and sugar and all this crap, your body is a very finely tuned, sensitive instrument that can pick up on the subtle vibrations of things that our human mind cannot, much like dogs can hear frequencies that we can't. When we start to refine and purify our minds, our bodies, our souls, we become uh, incredibly sensitive to the vibrations of things that are around us and we become more aware of things we weren't previously aware of. This is the expansion of consciousness. And we'll talk about some of that because uh, I think once I get settled down, actually I can already feel it and I know it. Once I'm settled down for sure, and my vibration, I'm really able to be in a pure and vibration where I'm just in my own energy with me and my dog. Um, I know for a fact I'm gonna start talking about some more of these like esoteric spiritual concepts, but we'll get to that later. So, 
pay attention to the signs. That's what I'm saying, guys. You're being guided every single day. So if you feel lost, there's no greater source of guidance than your own inner wisdom. It's a matter of if you take the time to clear out your own energy field, to clear out your own mind, to go out in nature, to connect with nature, to be in silence, to be in solitude, away from people, to get off social media and away from the video games and the Netflix, to listen to your own thoughts, to develop and honor your own sensitivity, that's when that inner wisdom will really begin to shine. Another great tool for this, of course, I always talk about is journaling. I literally write, I mean, this is my journal. It's a lot of pages and I'm this much through. These are all blank pages down here. I literally write every single day, like pages of pages upon pages of thoughts of every single day of thoughts of like what I'm going through, things that I'm seeing, synchronicities. This will help you clear out your mind, your own internal space in order to gain and create the clarity in the space so you can hear these divine messages and guidance we're talking about. Meditation. Meditation is one of the greatest tools that you can ever develop and use in your entire life because meditation is a place. Uh, I once heard this and you'll, I've said it before on, this, on my channel. I'm sure you'll hear me say it again. Prayer is when you're asking for something. When you meditate, it's the place in which you receive the answers to your prayers or your questions when you give yourself that gift of silence of solitude of space and the distractions they're no longer loud screams that are constantly pulling your attention and you're able to be centered in your own awareness and energy that's when you can really tap into that divine wisdom that you carry within and you'll gain a lot of clarity you gain a lot of clarity for what you're looking for so Give yourself silence, space, solitude, go out in the ocean if you can, the forest, nature, connect with yourself, connect with Mother Earth, get away from people, get away from all the outside influences, influences and voices, and get in tune with the one inner voice, the one voice that matters, that's yours, your inner voice, your intuition, because you're being guided every single day. You just have to learn to pay attention to the signs, and that's what it's about, guys quote uh, give you today you can ask the universe for all the signs you want but ultimately we see what we want to see when we're ready to see it so ask for signs ask for visions and the cool thing is when you start writing down some of these connections and you start making your consciousness is opening and expanding you start making these connections and you become more aware of these things and you acknowledge them, the universe will say, ah, he's paying attention, ah, she's paying attention, and they'll start to send you more, and they'll become stronger and stronger, and you'll go, dang, man, that's the sixth time in three days that I've seen the number 444. What does the number 444 mean? Get up the old Google machine and type in 444, synchronicity, or 444 meaning, or whatever it is. That is your soul trying to speak to you. Your higher self like I always look at life like this because this is the truth of what it is. Your higher self is your soul that's up there. You are in a video game and it's like your higher self up there has the controls and you are the character on the video game right now and your higher self, your soul is constantly playing the video game trying to guide you in the right direction and if you pay attention the game will get easier and the game will get smoother. And even when it's not smooth, you'll understand why it's not smooth and what your higher self is trying to show you or teach you or steer you away from. This is how it works, my friends. We are in the matrix. You are in your own reality and you're the conscious co-creator of your own life. And you're on the journey of creating a great vision for your life and fulfilling a divine purpose because there is a very specific reason you are here on earth and you're here to help a lot of people in a very specific way. And it's up to you to discover what that is, what your purpose is, and the way and the reason for it and why. And as you do that, you'll become more fulfilled and happy and successful and wealthy than you can ever imagine. As Mark Twain says, the two most important days in your life are the day that you're born and the day that you find out why. So it's your job to discover why and your higher self, the universe, angels, archangels, ascended masters are all trying to show you why and how. It's up to you now here as the video game character to discover that. And that's what we're here for. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. And I'll see you soon. Peace.